says, hello, Deborah. Yes, can you please send in the next client? I have my lunch break coming up very shortly, and yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. Okay, bye. Oh, hi. Sorry about that. I didn't see you there. How are you? Excellent. Okay, great. Let me just check the timetable, make sure that you're slotted in. Yep, I have you scheduled for right now. So, what seems to really be the problem? Okay, you're having some troubles hearing. Okay, great. Alright, uh, I'm just going to ask you a few questions before we get into the ear cleaning. First of all, do you by any chance use cotton q-tips when you clean your ears. Uh, okay. Yeah, um, I just want to advise you probably a reason that could contribute to your uh, declined sense of hearing could be because earwax has been plugged all the way to the back of your ear canal due to using those q-tips. I beg this advice number one thing we can advise clients is don't use those q-tips they're not good for you if anything they actually make your earwax situation worse which we definitely don't want so whenever you're cleaning out your ears try to avoid using those q-tips another thing that's important to mention is that having some earwax is actually very helpful and important it acts as a first, the second line of defense for infection and bacteria, so don't worry, we're not here to remove all earwax from your ear, we're just trying to maybe get rid of the excess, if you will, but having some earwax in your ear canal is actually very important to maintaining your health, so we'll be sure to take a look into that. Before we continue, do you have any pre-existing medical conditions, allergies, experienced any flu-like symptoms in the past two weeks that I should be made aware of before we get into it. Okay, great. Well, at any point in time, if you have any questions, want to use the bathroom, whatever it may be, don't hesitate to let me know. Okay, great. Well, with that said, why don't we get started? Sit back, relax, make yourself at home, and let's get started. Okay, how are we settling up? Excellent. All right, well, now that you're nice and comfortable, I think the first thing that we should just do before we even take out anything is just get a little bit of a preliminary inspection into the ear canal. Just check, assess for the damage report if you feel me, okay? All right, so give me one sec. So all I have here is just a little ear. going to take a little bit of a look inside your ear canal, and I'm sure everything's going to be just fine. Yeah, all right, let's just take a little look here. Oh. Oh. Yeah, okay. Um, all right, buddy, when did you get the Minecraft Capes and Clips expansion update in your ear canals? This is maybe one of the worst cases I have ever seen. What is this orange bit up here on the top? How do you how do you even get different colored wax? Yeah, buddy. Okay, yeah, so Alright, this is this is terminal. This is definitely one of the worst cases I've ever seen of earwax infection. Yeah, we're gonna have to really do the full clean. Definitely something to be concerned about for sure. Alright, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get my kit out, some of my tools, and we're gonna get rid of all of this earwax in your ear, alright? Of course, of course, just take it easy. Um yeah, again, this is uh I don't even know how you were able to do this, but it's frankly impressive. 
aggressive. What can I have to work on that? All right. So let me get my ducks in a row, and we'll uh, we'll take care of that. But yeah, yeah, that's definitely an issue. All right. Give me one second. First thing we need to do is always wear gloves, maintain proper hygiene, and just be sure we're adopting the appropriate health and safety protocol. Just going to go in there and actually give me one sec. I'm like, so I'm just going to.
So we're just going to let that wax just sort of soften up. Just going to give it a moment to let it sort of dissolve. That will just take a, a minute or two. Okay. And then for our next part, what we will do is go ahead and uh, start cleaning out the wax with some ear picks. some little tweezers and I'll be using these to remove some of the early onset wax that's just on the outside here you can see if I press this little button we can turn on the light so I'm just gonna come on here and just Set wax here. Okay, just provide some lighting. There you go. Great. Mm hmm. So we're just going to go in there, grab the wax, grab it. There we go. Right, excellent. starts to happen when we uh, get the majority of the wax all wettened up. It'll start to sort of cave in like that, as you can see. Okay. I'm going to grab my ear pick now just to do the rest of this part here. So one second. Sort of get it all in one nice little clump. And then what we can start doing is start taking it out. Okay. So very good, 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 good. Alright. Okay, so, how are we doing so far? You okay? Can you still hear me down there? Alright, good. It's very fearsome, so let's go ahead and start taking this out. I'm gonna grab a ear pick now. Right, so, I have this ear pick here, I'm going to just sort of come in all the way from the back there and just scrape, 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 scrape. Boom. Just like that. I'm going to scrape, 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 scrape. Boom. One more. was everything that 
was stuck in your ear canal just then. Or that. Wow. That was impressive. How were you doing that for so long? Oh, I see. Okay, well, at least it's out now. Why don't we take a look at the other side of the ear now? Okay. Second ear. Um, I don't really know what to expect, considering the fact what we saw in the first one, so I'm going to once again grab my pen light, and we'll see how we go. One second. This one isn't too cursed. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. Well, I don't know. I, I've never seen someone have so much variance in their earwax. Okay, so what it appears to be that we have here is this time for this second ear, your wax is sort of I guess, I don't really know how to describe it, it's sort of uh, formed a little uh, circular orbs, if you will, it's sort of uh, made little chunks, rather than coating your entire ear canal in earwax, it's sort of like pulled together in certain spots create, uh, I guess you could say, like little tiny pockets of wax. Very interesting, completely different from the last year, so, but don't worry, I think this one will be a little more manageable. Yeah, as you can see, well, you probably can't see, but it's sort of pulled together in those little globs. So, this appears to me like it's wax is quite, um, I guess you could say, calcified or hardened, if you will, in those areas, so I'm definitely going to need to soften and wetten up that wax. Okay. So. Once again, I have my little water sack here. So I'll just give that a moment to soften up, just really let those solutions and minerals to sort of, uh, uh, I guess, get into the, the wax there. And just to make it even easier, I'm going to use this little mist spray. Good. And just over here, sort of see if we can break 
sort of decided to be best friends, if you will. So let's see if they're willing to part here. Okay. How are you doing, though? You're doing fantastic, though. just want to thank you so much for being so easy to work with and so uh, patient. I know it can be sometimes a little bit uncomfortable perhaps getting your ears cleaned and whatnot, but you did a stellar job this evening, so thank you so much. I cannot wait to see you again down the road and uh, be sure to keep your ears clean. And until next time, See you soon.